Hello friends, in this video I will talk about this uh, HP 3-wire connector. Why uh, this uh, use 3 wires and uh, how I made this uh, 12 volts charger for my HP laptop. Let's begin. So I bought this uh, cable, it's a blue H HP cable, this one it's a step up module and uh, from uh, 12 volts input it's adjusted, it's adjusted 19.5 volts output and here as you can see black wire it's ground white wire it's plus and this uh, blue wire it's uh, id cable id pin this blue wire tells the laptop how much power can take from a charger in uh, this case I took uh, these parts from an original HP charger for 65 watts and 3 amps. And now I will make a schematic. So the output it's ground. The second layer It's plus. And this one, it's ID pin. And now I will show you. Now you can see this is the plus, this is the minus or the ground, and this it's ID pin here we have a two hundred kilo ohms and this one it's one hundred nanofarads capacitor that's for 65 watts I don't know the value of the resistor for 90 watts or 45 watts but uh, I will make some tests and I will try to reverse engineer these values now let's make some tests I forgot to tell you that uh, for 3.5 amps this resistor is for 65 watts but this small module cannot give uh, the output 65 watts and uh, that's why this is working only for a short time because it will become very very warm I will use my power supply so I will use 13 volts and 5 amps uh, current limiting. This is the ground and this is the plus. As you can see we have uh, 0.3 amps uh, current consumption. Now let's power this laptop. As you can see when I power the laptop the current consumption increase to 2 amps.
now it's 3 amps power consumption and uh, the laptop took shutdown let's power again I believe that uh, this module cannot give the current that we need and now it's very very hot. I forgot uh, to see if the voltage is good. Voltage is good, it's 19.4 volts. It's not a problem of voltage, I think it's a problem of current. And now you have seen why this isn't a good solution. Now Let's try a different approach. I will use only these wires and I will use my LabBench power supply. So first of all, I will use only ground and plus and I will not use this uh, ID pin. First of all, I will adjust uh, the output 19.5 volts so we have 19.5 volts output and the 5 amps current limiting now this is minus and this is plus as you can see we have 1.5 1.6 amp current consumption I believe it's charging the battery now let's see what happened when uh, we power on the laptop. We have 2.6 uh, amps, 55 watts. Because of the previous uh, forced shutdown, operating system needs a uh, repair. As you can see, now we don't have problems because uh, the current is strong enough. Finally, the operating system is loaded. And now let's see. It's a battery available, plugged in 
not charging. It's available, plugged in, not charging. Now let's make an experiment. And now we'll use this uh, ID pin. And I will connect uh, this pin with the resistor to the plus. So when we connect this, we have uh, 50 watts. And when we take this out, we have also 50 watts. Now let's connect the capacitor and the resistor. And now we have 35 plugged in. It seems it's charging. And when I take out, I dip in, it's also charging. I don't know why it's charging. I will uh, bring uh, my laptop, I'm sure it's not charging. Battery is full charge and that's why it's not charging. I have to discharge the battery. Now uh, it's on the battery, 8 hours remaining. I let uh, the battery to discharge and now uh, I connected uh, the charger. As you can see, ID pin is not connected and uh, the battery is charging. I remember some time ago I made some tests and uh, without this uh, ID pin charging function was not running and now I don't know why it's charging even uh, without this pin and uh, I can see no change if I connect this uh, pin Now I connected data pin and the uh, power consumption is unchanged. I have 0 0.6. Let's uh, take this out and now put again. It's same. Uh, charging current it says one hour until uh, full charge and if I disconnect ID pin it's the same current maybe HP change something in the firmware now I will use this uh, 12 volts uh, universal laptop charger I will use this cable, I will cut off this uh, voltage regulator and uh, I will make the charger for HP from this one. First of all, Let's test if it's working. As you can see, these two are not connected. And I believe that I use this uh, one, it's not connected to the ground. So I made this sign. No, and now it's working. The LED is on.
Now let's test the output voltage. It's exactly 19.5 volts. It's perfect. So shield is minus and white it's plus now let's uh, measure the voltage with load it's perfect it's 19.4 volts and uh, it's charging 20 minutes until full charge it's charging even I not connected this ID pin. Now I will uh, replace the original uh, cable with this one for HP. So I've made this small circuit. You can see it here. Here it's input two wires and here it's output three wires with id pin now let's test It's 19.5 volts. Output 19.5 volts. And uh, ID output. 19 volts from the ground now let's make a test with the laptop it seems it's working it's 65 percent available plugged in charging Sixty one per cent. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment. And if you know exactly where this HP laptop recognize or not uh, original charger, please write in a comment. See you in my next video. Bye.